this is the number one logical fallacy that we fall for, which is uh, yeah, post hoc ergo propter hoc, which means it, it follows, therefore it is because of. And that's, uh, uh, yeah, evolutionarily, that's a shortcut, you know, or a heuristic or a rule of thumb that, that we grew up with. When we see, see two things happen at the same time, we think that one caused the other or whatever. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a shortcut that has got us a long way evolutionarily yeah. but when you when you start studying things that um well the, the classic example in medicine or in surgery is that in conditions where people would improve anyway once you start doing things to them you start to think that what you did made them better um because it's a compelling argument it's like well i did this thing and and sometime later they say they feel better I'm going to keep doing it. You know, I'm on a roll here. You know, like yeah. why, would I stop, why would I stop doing the operation if my patients say they feel better? Um, and you've got to ask the question, what would they say if you didn't do the operation? Would they still have gotten better anyway? And it's only when you think in that sort of counterfactual way of thinking that you can really start to determine what caused the improvement. Yeah. Did it get better because there was just naturally what a, the course of the disease or whatever would have wrapped up. Um.